Hey everyone, this is Ryan from NintendoRadio.com and I'm here today to review The Blob for the Nintendo Wii. A very good game actually. Uh, let's get started. So mainly The Blob is pretty much this awesome game that I found out about about you know, this blob called Blob <laughs> and see these guys right there, those are on your team pretty much and this ink city has t this this ink uh, corporation has taken over Chrome City and made it all nasty colored and stuff. And they take all the color away, like right here. That little bug's gonna take all the color. It's gonna suck it right up. But uh, and so you and the four other blob guys help to uh, try and get the uh, all the color back. And first of all, let me point this out why I'm here. The loading screen is nice, because you can go through these cutscenes and read the stuff. And by the time you're done, oh look, press A, B to start. Boom. That's really nice. Anyway, so, it's pretty a simple story, but it's kind of exhilarating too, because I found myself, like, pretty soon they talk about, um, they talk about all this corporation evil stuff, and you're kind of these, like, rebels and all that, and just kind of really neat on how you can, it shows you how to play the game. It's really neat. Especially later in the game when you start freeing like uh, little guys and all that. Waha! Um, and so, and there's tons of humor in this game actually. I noticed even though there's not any voices in the cutscene, there there's not really humor in the main game. But in the cutscene, just like the expressions and stuff that they use, make made me laugh a, ton, a bunch of times. And I was like, oh hey, it's pretty clever. And, um, so yeah, I really enjoyed the story. And, um, uh, gameplay is actually pretty simple. I mean, you walk around as a little blob, you can paint stuff, you can mix up some colors. These little creatures that walk around, they're not bad right now because they're full of color, so you just run over them, you get more color, and those little points down at the bottom, um, oh, wait, boom. Those little points down at the bottom show how much color you have, and soon you... Later in the game, you have to fight some guys, um, some Ink Corporation guys who are pretty evil, and you have to use up your color to uh, to fight them. But most of the game, those points up top, you use to uh, get further in the game. I gotta find something to... Where's my objectives? There's objectives throughout the whole game, and it uh, helps you get further. But yeah, so it's a pretty simple premise. Um, and... You may you mainly start off. I know when I started off, it got pretty boring. But then, after about f literally like five minutes, it gets really addicting. <laughs> I I mean, you just want to keep on going back and painting all over again. And there's these little quests things that you can do to help get you more points. And I I thought those were fun. They do tend to get a little bit boring after sometimes because they're all kind of similar. Like the the green one always wants you to paint stuff. Um, the main professor dude always wants you to uh, make some building full of color. The blue one always wants you to follow him, and the orange one wants you to beat up some ink guys. But um, it still is pretty interesting. I mean, it just it gives you more points and everything. So. Still fun. Um, and then there's also multiplayer and free paint, which help to add a ton of like life to the game. Without it, I think it'd be a, a little boring, but uh, I think it, this is definitely a good extra that uh, they decided to do in. And uh, the, the couple things that I didn't like is that you can't jump that high. I mean, you can jump out that high, and I kind of... We should at least like stick to walls. You can you can stick to walls, but you need certain points to stick to. And they're showing sure in their game they're almost they're just like jumping pads. And like I said, some of the events get a little repetitive, but still gameplay is pretty sweet. And then uh, the sound, the sound uses is actually jazz, Latin sort of feel most of the game. And uh, you can just choose what type of tone you want. So you can choose like a happy upbeat Latin tone, you can choose pretty much any kind of tone, and when you hit something and make it colorful, the uh, instrument um, chimes in depending on the color, so like some, a lot of the time red refers to the trumpet, 
and it'll chime in every time you hit something. Oh, and see, so you have to unlock gates to get to the next section. But anyway, so it's really fun to listen to um, how all the paint kind of matches in with the color, and it's kind of like just mini solos coming in with jazz. And uh, the controls, I thought, felt pretty natural. I mean, most of the time they don't try and get in some nasty uh, wee waggle. Uh, they, they do a couple times, but it's not so bad that it's annoying. I mean... Like when you're filling up a building with paint, you use Wee Waggle. What's this color? Green, yay. Um, and when you jump, you use Waggle. But other than that, it's pretty natural. I mean, you just kind of walk around and boom. You use a joystick to move and the Z button to lock on. And then, of course, the graphics, they're fairly simple in the beginning with all the black and white. And then suddenly you start filling it with color, and you can go back onto the top of a building and look at the city, and you're like, holy flipping balls. This is a pretty amazing city. It went from black and white to this vibrant, colorful thing. And it's not a bad-looking game at all, uh, by the way. It looks fairly good, actually. It's one of the, the better-looking Wii games. I mean, that may be because it has a ton of color, but gosh, it, especially when you splatter that paint on. Looks pretty good. Now, a lot of people are thinking, well, it's just a painting game. Well, it's It kind of takes out your primal instincts of wanting to, to paint. And it really, I mean, even if you don't, if you're like, oh, I didn't paint when I was young. What are you talking about, you crazy psycho? It, it doesn't matter. It's still really fun to just walk around this blank city and just be like, hey, look at this. And there's multiplayer, so you can do it with your friends and everything. And... It's a great game, so overall I give The Blob a 8 out of 10. It has tons of creativity, I'm digging the music soundtrack, um, has a great storyline of this sort of rebel alliance all kind of working together. Oh, first of all, here's an example of destroying this different towers. Oh, wow. Dang it. You most of the time you have to choose a color every once in a while they let you choose the color but you can lock on and you swing both of the controllers to shake out all the paint out of you which is kind of fun and it turns it not necessarily into the color but just into a nice vibrant building so anyway 8 out of 10 pick this up uh, if you're not interested in it, at least give it a rent, because it deserves that. It's a good game, nice and solid. A couple minor things that I had a problem with, but other than that, it's decent. So, that's my review of The Blob for the Nintendo Wii. Now, go play it. Later, guys. Oh, go check out my site, NintendoRadio.com. If you have any questions, you can email me, questions at NintendoRadio.com. That's the... Uh, address and I'll answer them on my weekly podcast you could be on the podcast you can send me a shout out and I will say the shout out so I answer every single question and every single shout out boom okay guys later